Peoria. Sectional opens up. Central at 27 and 0. Takes on 22 and 6. Manual. The two clubs meeting for the third time this season. Hello again, everyone. I'm Paul Zakovic alongside me, Jim Matson. And Jim, when you look to the previous two meetings. Central winning both games. That's right, Paul, but Manuel played them close in both games. The first one was a five-point game. The second one, a one-point game. The Manuel Rams feel those two games could have gone either way. They think it's their turn to win. Central thinks they're going to make it three for three. We'll find out how they do. We'll have the starting lineups in all of tonight's action right after this. Welcome back to Robertson Fieldhouse on the campus of Bradley University. I'm Paul Zakovic along with Jim Matson tonight as we bring you the first game of the Peoria sectional. A big one. The Manuel Rams taking on the Central Lions. The Lions warming up as we take a look. We'll be having the introductions of the starting lineups in just a couple of minutes. As we mentioned in the open, Central winning the two games previous this season. Both taking place in the year of 1989. Central comes in a perfect 27-0. And, and, you know, last year they won the two regular season games, but the third game went to Manuel. Kind of payback Central's thinking the winner here is a definite favorite to wind up down in Champaign in the Elite Eight. We're talking to Chuck Fisher of the Central Lions before the game, and he was telling us that, hey, this is a different year. What is in the past is in the past, and uh, we'll find out tonight if that is indeed true. His kids are definitely fired up, though. They do remember last year, and they want to beat Manuel this year. It's payback. These kids know each other. Just moments away now from the starting lineups. Central is the host of the sectional. Therefore, they are the home team tonight, so Manuel will be up first in the starting lineups. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this evening's double-A sectional game between the Manuel Rams loud crowd here at Robertson Fieldhouse tonight as always when they play here at the Fieldhouse echoes like a tin can <laughs> no different tonight especially when you're right next to that central band it is loud here here come the starting lineups for the Manuel Rams Damon Hendricks had one forward spot a four year varsity member for the Rams Kenny Sidnor, he has been red hot as of late. Averaging 37 points over the last three games. There's Tom Wilson, the senior going to Bradley next year. Howard Nathan, one of the guards. The he point runs guard. the show. He makes it go, they're point guard. And Ricky Morgan rides out the uh, starting lineup for the Manuel Rams. Ricky Morgan, the kid with a flat top, and he can flat out shoot the ball. Charles White at one of the forward spots for Central. Only 6-1, but boy, can he fly a big-time rebounder. Here's Tyrone Howard. Kind of the quiet, heady player. Doesn't make many mistakes. He'll get you about 10 points a night. Mike Hughes at the center position. And, uh, you mentioned earlier he had the flu. Is that true? Yeah, he didn't practice much yesterday. He just shot around, but he's feeling fine now. Mike Kirksey made a big shot in last game against uh, Manuel. Sophomore guard out there. And Chris Reynolds going to Indiana next year. Rounds out the starting lineup. We'll be back with the opening tip-off here at Robertson Fieldhouse, the Peoria sectional between Manuel and Central. We'll be back. Basketball tonight at Robertson Fieldhouse. Glad we could bring it to you here on Channel 19. The opening game of the Peoria sectional between Central and Manuel. 
The thing that's so tough about Central is they have the ability to blow you out of the gym with their press, but Manuel has played them tough. In fact, in both of the earlier games, they led at halftime, so don't expect this one to be a blowout early. Now, if you're tuning in for Who's the Boss? The Wonder Years and Roseanne, those shows will be seen next week at their regular time. This week we get to see Manuel and Central. The Central players are antsy even during the National Anthem. They are ready to play. Be Tom Wilson heading to Bradley, jumping center against Mike Hughes. Mike Hughes from Central may be headed to Bradley as well. He has yet to pick a college. He's talking about Bradley, UNLV, or possibly a junior college, and we're ready to go. Crowd starting to stand here at Robertson Fieldhouse, and we are underway. Howard Nathan running the show for the Manuel Rams. Manuel will try to get it to this guy, Ricky Morgan or Kenny Sidner on the wings. They're both dynamite shooters. Tom Wilson just swatted away. They joined in the center tip there, and they join again. Tom Wilson going up for the layup, and Mike Hughes had a few other ideas. Hughes, the leading shot blocker for the Lions this year. There's Kenny Sidnor now to Nathan. Nathan's the man who gets it going for him. This team does not shoot a lot of three-pointers, although Morgan can step out behind that line and let it fly. They almost lose the ball here. Sidnor, air ball. Not a good start for Manuel. Here come the Lions. And Reynolds won't stop when he gets the ball. Kirksey mixes the shot. Kirksey doesn't shoot the ball a lot. He felt a little confident there and let it go. Nathan looking to go into the middle to Wilson again. Yeah, their three options are Morgan and Sidner on the outside and Wilson down the middle. And this guy, Howard Nathan, can do it all. He'll penetrate as well. There's Morgan on the wing. First points of the night, Ricky Morgan. Yeah, Morgan's just a great shooter. He doesn't step behind that three-point line. He shoots from about 18 feet on the year. He's 46% from the floor, which is pretty darn good shooting. Ricky Morgan, the brother of Jameer Jackson, by the way. Kirksey. Gets the ball back now. It's Reynolds. Charles White puts it in. Two-pointer. High ball game. Here they come the other way. I think this one's going on Hughes over the back of Wilson. That's really important. Both Hughes and Wilson have to stay out of foul trouble. Mike Hughes picks up a quick one there. Manuel going right to the offensive boards. They had two opportunities for the tip. Yeah, the first guy up there was 5'10", Howard Nathan. He can really jump. So Hughes picks up the first foul of tonight's game. Tom Wilson. Hughes also puts up the rebound. Reynolds ahead. Howard swatted away, but we have a foul. We're even on fouls now. Tom Wilson picks up his first. Wilson is not a real good shooter inside. Mechanically, he has a few problems. He missed an easy one on the other end. Came back trying to get the black shot, but instead he'll send Tom, Tyrone Howard to the free throw line. Howard 67% from the line. Howard, by the way, suffers from migraine headaches. And yesterday at practice, he told me he was having a little problem with the migraine headaches. I mentioned the fact that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has the same problem, and Tyrone said he might have to go out and buy a pair of goggles then. No headache now as he hits two from the line. 4-2 central. Ball out of bounds. It'll go back to the Rams. Manuel had no problem breaking the press there. Central kills a lot of teams with that press. They get a few steals and a run of 10 0 That's the way Central likes to play ball. Howard Nathan looks to shoot. That's a three. Mike Kirksey down. Now they're Chris running. Runner. Hughes is ahead. Kirksey doesn't shoot the ball much. He's kind of a role player out there. He's a good ball handler, has real good hands, but he won't shoot it much. That's Kirksey right there. Reynolds does shoot it. And hits. Beautiful. Chris Reynolds, a real good shooter. And there's your turnover. That's the central press right there. Central 
Central not letting Manuel come out and control like they did in the previous two meetings. No, that central press, it doesn't look like they're putting a lot of pressure on the ball, but if you're playing against it, they are right there. A simple inbounds pass. Manuel throws it away. Central can go up 8-2 to two early with a bucket here. There's Reynolds down the lane off the glass. And Wilson comes away with it. Good play by Wilson. He stopped the penetration, then went to the boards and got the rebound. Howard Nathan looking inside. Wilson not open. Now he is all the way out to the top of the key. Central in the zone right now. Kenny Sidnor only one shot. Here's his second, and he hits his second. Open out. As we said, Sidnor shooting over 70% in the last seven games. He's on fire. Was our athlete of the week a couple weeks back. He was a real nice kid. He wants to maybe go to Odessa Junior College, where Lynn Collins, who played on this manual team last year, is starting right now, Odessa in Texas. There's Mike Hughes out high. He looks for the shot and loses the ball, but it's now controlled by the yeah. Rams, and they walk with it. Oh, boy. Now, Wilson lost the handle on the ball, and I thought he did travel. He's claiming that Chris Reynolds got a piece of his arm. What they call traveling, a violation on Manuel Central's ball. Charles White will inbound. Hughes driving the baseline, losing the ball, but Reynolds out there. So far, so far, Damon Hendricks doing a real good job on Hughes. That's a travel. So far, the teams look a little rusty to me, Paul. It's kind of a low-scoring game. We're almost four minutes into this one right now. It's only six to four. Howard Nathan looking over to Kukvan Sayak on the bench. Yeah, the manual coaches are using signs to indicate what plays to run. Ricky Morgan. Yeah, that's a push on Wilson. That's his second foul. He pushed Charles White right out of the way. Quickly, Tom Wilson is in foul trouble. He has a tendency to do that. That's his second personal, and Coach Van's looking down his bench. I'm not sure if he's going to substitute or not. It doesn't look like it. He's just telling Tom to be a little more cautious out there. Tom Wilson's an aggressive player, and he tends to get balls. He better watch it now with two of them. Central lead 6-4. We're in the first quarter of this Peoria sectional game. Here's Damon Hendricks covering Hughes. He's doing a real nice job early. That's a, a, yeah, a blocking foul on Mike Kirksey. He was setting the pick to try to free Hughes, but it was an illegal pick on Damon Hendricks. And away from the ball, Mike Kirksey picks up his first personal. Here come the Rams. Nathan Sidnor is open, and he misses. Second shot of the night. Reynolds keeps running, and is a nice pass. Rams come away with the ball after a very close call. Howard Nathan, cross court, Sidner will fire again. On the line, it's only two, only a two corner. Sidner's getting his shots, which is a good sign for Manuel. He's only two for four from the field so far. Usually he'll be about four for four the way he shoots him. Hughes is open. Sidner controls the basketball for the Rams. It's tied at six. Manuel's doing a good job. They're being patient. They're getting the shots they want out of Morgan and Sidner. And then they throw the ball away. They throw it away again. Off the back, that is Central's ball. The ball deflected off the hand of Howard Nathan, hit the under part of the backboard. That is out of bounds. So for the second time, the press gets a turnover. It's Central's ball, Central leading 8-6. to six. Here we'll take a look at it. Chris Reynolds with the bucket. Put a little English on that one. A nice layup by Reynolds. Three-pointer. <laughs> Way outside. That was an NBA three there. Charles White, he's got a real funny-looking shot. But it's not so funny when it goes in a lot. He's set over 23 pointers on the season. Nathan once again looking to go inside. He finds Morgan. Right now, not many manual players in the lane. The only guy they look for inside is Tom Wilson. They like to shoot from about 15 feet. Ricky Morgan off to Wilson. And nice pass. A 
call, I believe, is on Charles White. That's correct. First ball on Charles White. Tom Wilson will go to the line for a pair of free throws. Charles White's first ball. Watch the beautiful pass there by Ricky Morgan. And Charles White might not have gotten much of Tom Wilson, but apparently enough. We have our first substitution in for Manuel, number 20, Mike Grayer, a sophomore. Grayer is in for Damon Hendricks for Manuel. That one hit all the rim and banked in. He used it all, but it goes in. Manuel's free throw by Tom Wilson on the year. Wilson is a 63% free throw shooter. Got them both. Rams now down by three as they start to exert a little more pressure. Anto handles it well. That's Hughes. Now back to Reynolds. Howard had the open shot. Now he takes it. And Central controls the basketball. Here's Chris Reynolds again. That's a charge. Falls on Reynolds. Good job by Tom Wilson with two falls. He's in fall trouble. He stood his ground, and Reynolds ran him over. Charging call, Chris Reynolds. You see Wilson. He was there and waiting. Chris Reynolds made a nice move, but Wilson saw it coming. Picks up the charge. Really earned that charge. I don't know what Coach Van thought of that, seeing his prize center go down with two falls. It could have gone the other way, but it looked like a good call. Having trouble getting it in. Now cross court, it's Wilson, the big guy, having to come up. Ricky Morgan going to have to get it over the timeline. He does. Morgan pumps, and he loses. Ted Look Bob. at Reynolds go. Ball still not in control. Now Central has two on it. One. Hughes finally gets the bucket. I think that was Charles White getting it off the rebound. Yes, it was. Give the basket to Charles White off the rebound. Dribble. That's a, yep. That's Pick another turnover. Manuel's going to use a timeout right here. Timeout. Central leading Manuel early here. 13-8. We'll be back in a minute. Away, both teams exchanging buckets. Chris Reynolds for Central and Kenny Sidor for Manuel. Score now Central 15 to 10 with about 35 seconds in the half. They're going for one shot as they spread it out in the four corners. Down to 25 as Howard drives and it's stolen. Throw it right to him. We thought Kenny Sidor was wide open. Probably he's on the other team now. Manuel will hold the ball for one shot. They can get within three with a two pointer. Howard Nathan once again looking to the bench. Trying to look up at the clock. There's 10 seconds left in the half. We're in the first quarter. He'll drive. Short. Central with the ball. Loses it. And we've got a foul. I believe it's going to go on Mike Grayer. Now Central is not in the bonus, so they'll get the ball inbounds. Two seconds to go in the first quarter here. Robertson Fieldhouse. 15-10, Central leading Manuel. Chuck Bister telling his kids, just throw it down the court. Let's see if something good will happen. Maybe they can throw it to Nicky Anderson, huh? <laughs> and it goes to Reynolds. He fires. Oh! That's last. Nicky Anderson would have liked that one. It Here's counts. It. It's a three-pointer, and it's now 18-10 Central. That's the score after the first quarter. We'll be back with the second quarter action right after this. Remember when someone would go all out to fix a great meal for you? Remember how they'd insist that you fill your plate and welcome you to take a second helping? Well, there's still somebody out there who's willing to go to great lengths for you at a price that will never leave you short of cash. Shakey's All-You-Can-Eat Buffet, still bringing a good deal to every meal. Beggs Awning and Window Company knows it makes good sense to increase your home's value, security, and energy efficiency with FiberLux replacement windows from Biggs. FiberLux windows from Biggs feature double or triple insulating glass, weather strip double interlock for added weatherproofing and security. Easy to remove sashes for fast and safe inside cleaning. See the FiberLux replacement window today at Biggs Awning and Window Company, where quality has been first, last, and always since 1947. 
18-10 Central as we begin the second quarter here at Robertson Fieldhouse. 18 points from Central, nine of them by this guy right here, Charles White. They just have all the patience in the world. Maybe too much. <laughs> Ahead to Nathan. He'll take it all away. Hard off the glass, but he gets it to drop. Chris Reynolds at the last moment just got out of Nathan's way. Didn't want to give him a three-point play. Central still leads by six. A lot of pushing and shoving going on between Mike Hughes and Mike Grayer of Manual. If you want to watch that match, up here's Hughes right now being guarded by the sophomore Grayer. He traveled. Yep, they got it. He was pivoting around him as he was pump faking. His back foot slipped a little, and they got the traveling call. Manuel Rams looking to get back into this basketball game. We're going to see the traveling violation. Right there, you see his back foot slips, his pivot foot slips, and the, right on top of the call for the traveling. Here's a three-pointer. In and out. Manuel fighting Chris Reynolds, ball. I believe, is his second personal. Was that one or two on Reynolds? Mike Grayer got the rebound, and Chris Reynolds reached in. His second personal foul. Now, Manuel is in the bonus. They will go to the free throw line, so that's two fouls on Chris Reynolds, central star point guard. Mike Grayer on the air, a 70% free throw shooter, shooting one in one. Gets the first one in. He's averaging right around 10 points a game for the Rams this season. You ask Coach Van Syak about this kid, he'll tell you Mike Grayer's two best games of the year were both against Central. He had 10 points in the first one and 7 points in the second. We've seen a lot of them here as he hits both free throws. It's 18-14 now, Central leading. So it was 18-10 at the quarter, and Manuel's got the first two buckets here. They're right back in the ball game, down four. A little more pressure for the Rams. Charles White going to give it to Reynolds. Here's and White fires again. Boy, off the iron. A little short on the shot. He has a funny shot. It looks like he's almost shooting with two points, and that one was so funny that Chuck Fisher's taking him out. He did not like that shot. Courtney Sazone's coming in, and I bet you it's for Charles White. Very deceptive how he shoots it. It doesn't look like he's It's quick. He shoots it really quick. Off the iron, but Rams get it and then lose it. Here comes Reynolds. Boy, it looked like he might have walked with the ball, but they give him the hoop back the other way and out of bounds. Manual loses. That's what Central has a tendency to do. They get a quick bucket, you want to answer. And Central's defense is so good, Manuel got a little hurried and throws the ball away. I thought Chris Reynolds did travel if we watch this. Howard Nathan cuts in front of him. Well, yep. maybe not. Do you think so? We'll give him the bucket. He may have traveled or may not. It was a close call. 2014. The score is Central on top. Now, Sazone did enter the game, but Charles White is still out there. Sazone came in for Mike Kirksey, partner Sazone in the game. He's wearing number 25 down low. In and out for Hughes. That was Sazone on the rebound there. Over his back is Ken Sidner for Manuel. Central got three shots right there. That's Sidner's first foul. The Central Lions are still not in the bonus, I do not believe. They'll get this one out of bounds underneath the basket. Central will probably just place his own off the bench. Chuck Fisher does not go very deep on that bench. Cartney's his own will probably be the only reserve you see. There's Mike Hughes. Hughes in the lane. It's been real quiet so far. He'll shoot it again. And hits this time. Hughes stayed after it after missing the first shot. The ball came back to him and he knew what to do with it. Look at Reynolds play defense there. He's a pleasure to watch in the defensive end. You can just ask Bobby Knight about that. Howard Nathan looking to take the shot. Instead, he drives and he's stripped of the basketball. Here come the Lions ahead, and it's broken up. Wilson saves the ball and a traveling violation. Real good hustle by Tom Wilson to get back on defense. He kind of wound up with the ball in his hands. He wasn't ready for it, and he took a few steps. These teams are used to fast break buckets, but boy, with the speed of both teams, you won't see a whole lot of layups in this game. Chris Reynolds and loses the ball to Nathan. Big steal there from Manuel. Central's up by eight. They could have gone up by ten with a bucket there. 
inside. They get it to Wilson, and he doesn't get the bucket. Tipped around. Cezone grabs it. And it's stolen by Grayer for two. Big turnaround right there. Central had the ball. Once again, they could have gone up by 10, but Mike Grayer, the sophomore on the spot there, comes up with the steal and lays it in. Real nice shot right there. So it's a different manual basketball team here in the second quarter. Oh, I thought that was a traveling call there. It looked to me like he was moved both feet, but instead they call a blocking ball on Ricky Morgan. Chuck's a little unhappy with the way the offense is being run right now. But he's got to be happy with that call because it looked to me like it would have been a traveling call, but instead Mike Hughes goes to the line for one and one. Ricky Morgan, his second foul. Mike Hughes, Mike Hughes a 74% free throw shooter. If I'm not mistaken, he's the best free throw shooter on the team. Yeah, he's the guy Chuck Fisher wants to see at the line. He gets them both. The free throws keeping uh, Central on top here. Yeah, they're up by eight. You know, they're pretty comfortable leading throughout the game so far. Emmanuel's got to make a run here before halftime. We have four and a half minutes left in the half. Ricky Morgan in the corner. Tom Wilson's got the ball inside a couple of times, and he has not been able to convert it into a bucket. A lot of pushing going on inside. Nathan hits for three. Big bucket there, cuts the lead to five. Charles White again. Nice pass by Reynolds, dished it off. Saw the defensive man come up and guard him. He dished it off to an open white. Rams aren't stopping. I think Howard Nathan feels it a little bit. Back-to-back -back three pointers, 26-22 now. The pace picking up just a bit here on the Peoria section. Great matchup right here. Chris Reynolds against Howard Nathan. Reynolds, one of the best point guards you'll ever see, and Nathan is going to be dynamite, just a sophomore. There's Tom Wilson out front on Howard. He has to be careful with two falls. Howard's not going to shoot the ball from that far out anyway. This is Chris Reynolds. Got off the iron, taken down by Sidney. That's traveling, that's traveling. Yeah, both guys had the ball, both guys fell down. Traveling call on Manuel Central gets it back. That's too bad for Manuel. They really went to the boards hard. Watch Kenny Sidner, number 32, coming down. Yeah, you can't fall down with the ball. It's that simple. You fall down holding the ball, it's traveling. Central becoming a little more patient here as they look to coach Chuck Fisher. Pulling it out in almost a four corners here. Now Reynolds will still penetrate and trying to get the easy shot out of this. Howard's got an open lane and two. What a pretty move by Howard. Between the legs, behind the back, all the way to the bucket. 28-22. Off the iron. Ball loose. Hughes has control of the basketball. Boy, they're think? letting him play. They're letting him play now. Could have called any number of fouls on that one, but the referees say, let's just play ball. I can't say he had control too early. <laughs> Now, in this offense that Central runs with the four corners, the defense has a tendency to more or less fall asleep. It happened last time. Tyrone Howard went right through the defense for the easy layup. It's an effective offense, although it does slow the game down. Just about two minutes remaining in the first half. Kind of a high dribble there by Tyrone Howard. No call. Chuck Bishop very satisfied. Up by six, he'll hold the ball as long as it takes to get a good shot. Hughes will fire the jumper in and out. The tip up, no good, out of bounds, and it goes right back to center. The other thing about that offense, Central runs, it has the defense so spread out. When Central goes to the basket, they have a good chance for offensive rebounds. Right here, you see both guys inside wearing the Central white. Manuel has to be a little frustrated. Yeah, down by six, and Central's holding the ball up here track of time of possession it would definitely be in central favor watch the steal the ball is loose and it goes back to central another break number three on wilson black ball with the bucket third and ball on wilson 
very big play. Once again, Chris Reynolds saw the seam, went through it. Tom Wilson was sliding over. Wilson didn't know whether Reynolds was going to shoot or pass. Reynolds shot, and Wilson wasn't there. Third fall on Wilson. Reynolds goes to the line with a chance for a three-point play. He could give Central their biggest lead. And Wilson sits down. That was a big fall. Tom Wilson had played well with two falls, but he picks up his third with a minute 30 in the half. Reynolds kind of wished that one in, put Central up by nine. Sam Davis checks in for Tom Wilson. Number 50 inside, only a sophomore, but a good ball player. Played real well when Wilson was ineligible. I believe Mike Hughes will get that ball. Looks like Hughes may have got poked in the eye. As you see underneath, he's down. Maybe he ought to start wearing some goggles. Watch it here. The basketball hit him in the eye, it looks like. It looks like the basketball glanced right off his eye. Two fouls for Hughes. He's coming out, it appears. Yeah. It's his right eye. And Charles White's checking back in for Hughes. Doesn't look to be anything serious. In fact, he's fine now as he walks off. The... Is he staying in the game? He wants to stay in. and Apparently he is staying in. Ricky Morgan will go to the line for the manual Rams. Pretty tough to take a guy like Mike Hughes out of the ball game, a great All-American. Rams is down nine. Still nine. As a team, Manuel shoots 72% from the free throw line, which is really, really good for a high school team. Anything over 70 is dynamite. Morgan hits the second. It'll be interesting if Central holds it for one. There's over, there's a minute 15 to go in the first half. They very well might hold it for one with all their ball handlers. Charles Wright will bring it back out to Tyrone Howard. A guy like Chris Reynolds out there, it's awful tough to make turnovers. They might just run this one all the way down for one shot. 53 seconds to go in the half. Basket by Central will put them up by 10. Boy, that'd be a nice halftime score to go in if you're a Central Lions fan. Drive in the lane. Travel. His own travel. Real nice pass by Reynolds. He's own got the ball. And moved both feet on the way to the basket. We mentioned that the previous two games this season, Manuel leading at halftime. Doesn't look like it's going to be the case this time as Central with a commanding lead here. Now Chuck Bishop just did a very smart thing. He saw Tom Wilson Emanuel pick up his third ball, so he takes Chris Reynolds out of the game. Reynolds with two falls is replaced by Mike Kirksey. So Chris Reynolds will start the second half with just two personals as he's on the bench right now. Manuel holding for one. We're down to 20 seconds remaining in the half. You see the referee counting at the top of your screen. The pressure is on Manuel. They must force the action since they're down by eight points. They have five seconds to see the referee tell them you have to play ball. There's this time in the corner of your screen. Tough shot. Oh, oh. boy. Three-pointer. Here comes a bomb at the buzzer. It doesn't drop, but boy, a tough shot by Kenny Sidnor there. A big bucket for the Manuel Rams. It's 31 to 26 Central. Leaving at halftime, we'll take a break and be back here. Halftime of the Peoria sectional. For Lions and Manuel Rams, I'm Paul Zakovic along with Jim Matson. And let's go right back to the action here in the second half as the Rams trail by five. They'll have the basketball here. Kenny Sidnor loses and then fires. No good. Nice Ken rebound there by Michael Hughes. Kenny Sidnor has nine points in the first half. He led the Manuel Rams. There's Charles White. Central gets it back. Oh, Mr. Hughes with another two. Hughes had a very quiet first half, just four points, but quickly he's up to six. Central leads by seven. Howard Nathan with the basketball. Inside, they're going to Wilson. Remember, he is playing with three fouls, and Central comes away with the basketball. Chuck Bishop telling him to hurry it down the court. Chris Reynolds was tripped by Ricky Morgan. And that, folks, isn't allowed. We're just 
underway here in the third quarter of action. 33-26, the Central Lions lead the Manual Rams. Quickly, Man Manual goes to the bench, bringing in two reserves, Mike Grayer and Sam Davis. They both played in the first half, and they're both in. Tom Wilson and Damon Hendricks lead for Manual. Central has their starting lineup out there. Howard inbounds to Hughes, now to Reynolds. Back to Howard. Inside here is Mike Hughes with another two. He has four in the second half. Ahead, Hughes with the steal. Boy, Central is coming out tough. They're not letting up one bit. Chris Reynolds rolls up. Morgan to Sidnor. Will he pop? Yes, he does, and he hits. Big basket there, first bucket of the first half, for Man second half for Manuel. Sidnor with 11 now. Here you see the score, third quarter, we're just underway. Manuel desperately needing to get back into this basketball game as Central gets off to a quick start here, third quarter. Cezone with two on the fatal one. Real nice one-handed shot there. Looks like Central trying to get the ball more to Michael Hughes. He made the first two buckets of the half, gets an assist right there. He was out of bounds practically after that shot. Grayer for a three-pointer. Boy, that kid's just a sophomore, too. He's made that big steal for a three-point play in the first half, and there he hits the three-point shot. And you mentioned earlier in the first half that he always plays well against Central, and that's why Dick Van Syak has him out there right now. We had the wrong score up there. It's Central 37, Manual 31 is your score. White off the glass, and no, we've got a... Offensive foul. Take away the basket on the offensive charge right there. Chuck Fisher can't believe it. Watch it again here. Looks like for one thing, White shot the ball long before he ran into the man there. The basket probably should have counted, but it looked like a good call. It looked like a charge to me. I'm glad Chuck Fisher doesn't have, have uh, replay facilities. <laughs> Be very upset. Ricky Morgan for another three. Manuel coming out with some three-pointers here in the second half. Your score right now, once again, 37-34 Central. 37-34, there's the correct score. Hughes with a one-hander that goes in. Michael Hughes, four points in the first half, six already in the second. 39-34, Central still ahead of the Manuel Rams here. Ricky Morgan will drive, and he hits the bucket. Central's trying to get the ball to Mike Hughes this half. It looks like Manuel's trying to go to Ricky Morgan. He had a quiet first half with just three points. He's got five in the second half. Central only by three right now. Manuel hitting two three-pointers here in the third quarter. On the iron, just doesn't the go call. in. A, a blocky call on Ricky Morgan. It was a shooting call. Chris Reynolds would go to the line for two. Ricky Morgan has picked up two personal balls in the second half. He now has three. So two players in foul trouble as we see Morgan applying the foul. It looked like Morgan kind of leaned to his right as Reynolds went up. Looked like a pretty good charging call there. Morgan with three and Tom Wilson with three for the manual Rams. Wilson not in there right now. Reynolds had a big first half with 14 points. The Lions now up by five again. As the Rams start their attack. Howard Nathan looking to Ricky Morgan. He's had the hot hand here. Kenny Sidnor, he had a three-pointer earlier, misses this one. And Grayer controls. Morgan will take it. Off the iron now. Central runs the show with Chris Reynolds. Coming down the lane. Hughes will pull up. And Charles White banging hard on the boards. Finally, Grayer comes out of it. Manuel has a very small team in there now. Their tallest player, just six foot two, Central with the decided height advantage. Grayer, a rainbow off the iron, but Sidnor there for the rebound and then the tip. They may be small, but they can still rebound. Kenny Sidnor with two offensive rebounds and the bucket. Central now up by three. 
Sinder going back up to the right-hand tip-in right there for two points. Tyrone Hauer is open, and he hits. Back to five-point lead. Kenny Sidnor loses the basketball, and who will get it? Going back to the Rams. Looks like Kenny Sidnor kind of helped Chris Reynolds away from that ball. Looked like a fall on Sidnor to me, but it's manual ball out of bounds. Chris Reynolds went down hard on that shoulder, but he gets up, looks like he's fine. Ricky Morgan will inbound. The kid with that flat top. Kind of cut a wedge or something into it. <laughs> Howard Nathan back to Morgan, back to Nathan. Kenny Sidnor will fire. Tipped in by Crayer. Boy, Crayer playing a tremendous basketball game here. He has nine points now. The sophomore off the bench, a big contribution so far. Hughes again. The tip by Sazon. Boy, Sazone really playing well down low with the tip-ins. It's another, and it's back to a five-point lead for Central. Charles White missing the first tip, but Courtney Sazone didn't handle the ball too well, but tipped it home. Hey, he'll take it with the wrist. <laughs> Morgan from the corner. Off the iron, there's Grayer again. And we've got a foul on Central. Charles White inside. Manuel's point four guys outside the three-point stripe, but somehow they're still getting the offensive rebounds. They're going to the boards hard. Chris Reynolds picking up his third foul. Well, I thought the foul was on Charles White down low, but it goes on Chris Reynolds, his third, and that's really important. Reynolds, Tom Wilson, and Ricky Morgan all with three fouls in tonight's game. Howard Nathan will take the shot, a three-pointer that goes in. Nathan now has hit three three-pointers in this game. He doesn't shoot that many, but boy, today he's three out of four. Manuel's within two. Inside, there's White again off the glass. Somehow White got wide open. That was a pretty easy little six-footer off the glass. Will they go to the three-pointer? Down the lane, we've got a foul. Mr. White. It's you, and he's got his third. Central's calling for a timeout here. Chuck Fisher not too happy. Manuel's getting some good shots. We'll take a timeout here, too. Manuel could be coming back. Central, however, still with the lead, 47-43. Back in a minute. Enter Ricky Morgan to Howard Nathan. Brayer, he's had a hot hand. Nathan dishes off Sidnor for three. No good, but the Rams get it. Nathan up again. And Hughes comes down with a big defensive rebound. Boy, Reynolds, he just doesn't stop. Comes all the way up the court, and he'll take the shot if they give it to him. He can stop so quickly and shoot that shot. If you watch, he has a real exaggerated fall through, but usually the ball falls through right to the basket. Kenny Sidnor looking to take the shot. He doesn't get it. Ricky Morgan wants it. He takes the shot. He's off. Sazone with a big four. Cartney Sazone playing a good ball game here. Central's going to the boards hard now. That's a fall on Reynolds. That's four. Intentional fall. The fourth fall on Chris Reynolds. It's called an intentional fall. Howard Nathan doesn't look too happy with uh, Chris Reynolds. Well, he's pretty happy about this. Nathan will go to the line for two free throws, and then it's Manuel's ball out of bounds. An intentional foul, the fourth foul on Chris Reynolds. Watch this. He almost takes his head off. Ooh. That's one way to stop the fast break. It's a costly way, though. The fourth personal on Reynolds. Chris Reynolds coming back from that injury. 17 days he missed. Came back for playoff time and in the game against Richwood he had 16 and without Chris Reynolds he'll miss some playing time now as well Mike Kirksey in Chris Reynolds out keep in mind central beat manual while Reynolds was hurt Nathan. 49-43 is the score central still ahead Turns out that Reynolds' ball really doesn't hurt other than the fact it's his fourth personal. 
because Nathan could not convert the free throws, but it is Manuel's ball. Manuel now in the bonus in the second half. And Nathan, not a bad free throw shooter at 75% on the year. Sometimes it's tough shooting him when you're the only one out there on the floor. Rams have the ball, though. I was saying before, Central's doing a good job rebounding. The five tallest players on the court all belong to Peoria Central. Manuel with that short lineup. They're just looking for the opening. We're under 40 seconds in the third quarter. Coach Van has called for one shot. Brayer, Nathan, and Morgan just playing a little catch out front with 20 seconds to go. Nathan looked to start his penetration but holds back now with 13 seconds. There's the time at the bottom of your screen. They'll start their move right here. Looking for Morgan or Sidner. It's Nathan off the iron, and the quarter ends with Central still on top. The Central Lions 49, the Manuel Rams 43. We'll be back after this. Central up six as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Central with the basketball and they'll keep it. It seemed like Manuel played a really good third quarter, but actually Central extended their lead from five points to six points. Central's led all the way. Out high to Charles White. Kirksey walked with the ball. A lot of pressure on Mike Kirksey. The sophomore is running the show now with Chris Reynolds on the bench. It'll be interesting to see how long Chuck Fisher waits before putting his prize point guard Chris Reynolds back in the game. You Tom see, Wilson with three fouls. He's back in. Kirk, you see the traveling violation. Yeah, Kirksey just had a problem getting a hold of the ball, and he traveled. There's Wilson. Back out. Morgan will fire for a three. Simple inside-outside play. You throw the ball inside. Your big guy kicks it right back outside, and Morgan was open for the three-pointer. Manuel down three now. Hughes working on Grayer. Gets the shot, and Wilson comes down with a rebound. Three-pointer will tie the game right now. Morgan with the pull up and <laughs> take it from way out. Nathan back to Morgan. Grayer was open if he wanted it. Now in the lane, I think, I think they're going to call him for a walk. Yes, indeed. Real nice drive. He got the bucket, but he took one too many steps. And look who's back in the ball game. Central's Chris Reynolds checking back in right here with seven minutes to go in the game. Kind of a gamble on Chuck Fisher's part, but he wants his point guard in there to decide this one. Tyrone Howard gives it to Chris Reynolds with those four fouls, bringing the ball up. Fisher wants him to go to the four corners. He wants to take some time off the clock. Here comes Reynolds all the way. He'll take the shot and hit it. So much for taking time off the clock. Nathan back down. Way out front, Sidnor. That's a two-pointer. Good call by the official. His left foot was over the line. A three-point lead once again for the Central Lions. Now it appears they will take some time off the clock. tough to stall against either one of these teams. They put so much pressure on the ball. Here's Howard. He'll start to the basket. Off to Hughes. Boy, Tyrone Howard's played a nice game. He makes all the right decisions. Took it to the basket. Saw an open teammate and got him the ball. Danny Sidnor looking to Howard Nathan. Back to Sidnor. Morgan's open in the corner. He doesn't take it, but Sidnor does. Rebound controlled by the Lions. Out on the break. Here comes Chris Reynolds. Watch the alley-oop. It's batted away. Great defensive play by the Manuel Rams. Everybody in the crowd saw it coming. Charles White on the wing, but Kenny Sidner saw it coming too. A great play. Morgan in the corner. Rayer misses the shot. Central gets the ball back. Boy, after a great defensive play, and they come back down and can't convert. Central hanging on top by five. Reynolds penetrates to Hughes. And here come the Rams. Nathan 
in trouble off the window for two. He was double teamed down low. Looked like he had nowhere to go. He did a little 360, and all of a sudden he was wide open for the layup. He was smothered down there. Spun around a couple times and put it up and in. The little guy can do it. Watch for Manuel to double team the ball in the corners. The steal by Sidnor and a foul before the steal. Boy, I thought that was an intentional ball. Once again, the central player simply grabbed Kenny Sidner. Dick Van Syak wants the intentional ball, but instead of a layup or a dunk, it winds up simply free throws. I think that's a bad call. It looks to me like the central player just grabbed Kenny Sidner. You see the dunk there. You didn't see what happened at half court, but we have a timeout. It wasn't an intentional fall, but one official did not call it that way. It's not. We have a timeout. We have a timeout here. 4.33 remaining in the fourth quarter. Central by three. Announced. Manual. You see the score. Three points. Fourth quarter. Four and a half minutes to go at the line. Kenny Sidnor off the iron. He misses the front end. Big turnaround there. Manuel had the layup off the fast break. Central commits the ball. And they missed the free throws. There's another foul. Mike Rayer. Four fouls. On Ricky Morgan. That's not Ricky Morgan, but he has four fouls. Chris Reynolds bringing the ball up court. They're out of the delay game now. They're going to just play offense. Good passing in the lane. Real pretty passing. Three passes inside to get the layup by White. Manuel down five. Will they go to a three-pointer here? It's a big trip for him. We're inside of four minutes in the ball game. Inside, here's Wilson. He'll have the easy two. Point blank range, Tom Wilson cuts the lead to three. Central's back to four corners. You see Wilson got the ball inside. He's not going to miss many from there. Could be offense. Nope. If we come back to live action, you missed it. It looked like Reynolds and Howard Nathan. Reynolds kind of pushed off, but the fall goes on Nathan. That was a close one right there. Here we see it again. Watch him kind of push off with the left shoulder. Looked like Nathan did a pretty good action job. He was falling down before Reynolds even touched him. White will inbound. Looking to spring a guy free. It's Reynolds. That was the fifth team fall on Manuel. Central is now in the bonus. They will be shooting free throws. Manuel is already in the bonus. Charles White baseline there. This can take some time off the clock. They're up by three. Back out front. Howard. Playing catch with Reynolds. And another foul on Howard Nathan. That's his second. Yeah, Nathan has some balls to give. He's got to put a lot of pressure on Reynolds to try to get the ball away. Reynolds goes to the free throw line. Central is 7 out of 7 from the free throw line in the ball game. We'd like to take this time to thank the folks at Cellular One for their service. Helping us with, with the phone communications here at Robertson Fieldhouse. And let's take a time out. 3-11 remaining in the ball game. Double meal deal, please. Central manual finishes. Central up by three. However, Chris Reynolds will go to the line. Reynolds 20 points on the night. It wouldn't be Central Manual if it wasn't close with about three minutes to go. Chris with 21 now. And he gets them both. I have Central a perfect nine for nine from the free throw line. Oh, it's a five point lead for Central. Just a little over three minutes remaining in the game. Nathan looking for someone to pass it. Wrong guy. Wrong uniform. 
Reynolds will slow it down. Howard will drive, and he is bumped by Wilson. That's his fourth. Howard appears to be hurt down on the court. Looks like Ken, his leg slipped out from under him. He's down on the court in a lot of pain, it looks like. Getting up slowly now, Tyrone Howard. He's hobbling, favoring his left leg. Tom Wilson, the senior. A few years back, played for the Central Lions. There you see him committing the foul on one of his former teammates. Yeah, Tom Wilson, of course, transferred a couple of years ago from Central over to Manuel. And everyone just wonders, what would Central be like with Tom Wilson? <laughs> Howard shows no ill effects of the bang up. It's the free throw. Now as Manuel looks for a player to fall, it might be Courtney Sazone if he's still out there. He's just a 54% shooter. He split, split the pair. Manuel down six. And he Sidnor looks to shoot. And we've got a foul. Chris Reynolds. And that's it for Reynolds. Reynolds walks over to the crowd. He knows he's done for. That is his fifth ball. Chris Reynolds is hoping now his career is not over. He's telling his teammates, pull this one out so I can play again. Getting some encouraging words from his teammates. Boy, they're almost playing this like a... They don't want him to leave. They're trying to keep him on the court, but by falls, he has to leave. Well, Central will have to play the final two minutes and 27 seconds without Chris Reynolds. However, they played without Chris Reynolds in game two this season with Manuel and defeated the Rams. Reynolds checks out with 22 points. Once again, the pressure falls on number 15 for Central. Mike Kirksey, their sophomore point guard, Kirksey is just a 56% free throw shooter. Look for Manuel to possibly follow him. Big free throws here for the Rams and Ken Sidnor. Coach Bishop for Central wants his team to go back to the four-corner offense when they come back down. He wants to take time off the clock now. Sidnor hits them both. Those were very big. Manuel's going to apply the press now with Chris Reynolds out of the game. Rams trail by four. Central trying to get it over the timeline. Brayer applying the pressure to White and they break the press. Just barely broke that 10 second strike. Hughes will fire. Tipped out of bounds and a great save. Hughes looked to go right back and now Manuel has the ball. Sidnor. He'll take the shot. Tom Wilson the bucket on the tip in. Boy Central wants to run time off the clock. Chuck Bishop is beside himself. He did not like that shot selection on the other end. Watch Tom Wilson high up for the tip in right there. Right back the other way. And the Rams control the ball. Jump ball belongs to Manuel. Manuel has a chance to tie with a minute 43 to go. The Rams down two. Howard Nathan up court. Sidnor is open and misses the shot. Wilson down low along with Grayer and a foul committed. The foul's on Sazone. Grayer goes to the line for two, a big rebound. Sazone's first foul. We mentioned Grayer, always great games against Central. Yeah, just a sophomore. The first game against Central, he scored 10 points. In his second game against Central, coming off the bench, he had seven points and four rebounds and four assists. He's a kid who does a lot of good things out there. He's got a chance to do two real good things here, making a couple of free throws. Hits around the iron a while, but it'll count. Rams trail by one. Since the middle of the first quarter, Central has led the whole way. Manuel can pull it to a tie right now. Big bucket to tie the ball game. March Madness, March Madness right there. 
We're tied. Chuck Fisher calling for a timeout. As you take a look at the ball around the hoop, there's a foul on Emmanuel Rans, but boy, what a free throw there. Now before a timeout, we had a personal foul. Charles White was fouled on the offensive end. He will go to the line for one and one. I do not think there's been a timeout called. No gonna, timeout has been called. We're gonna have to take timeout anyway. Well, I guess we won't have to take timeout. We'll keep it right here, it's tied up. Charles White with a big free throw miss. Morgan controls to Nathan, and the Rams want a timeout. Here's where we'll take it, 58-58. We're hooked up in a dandy, we'll take timeout with a minute 14, back with a finish after this. This is my lawn. This is why we have a tie ball game right now. The ball going in after a free throw by Mike Grayer. It goes in. <laughs> what a free throw. Back to live action. Tied at 58 with a minute to go in the game. Manuel appears to be holding the ball. I don't know if they're thinking one shot or what. There you see the time on the bottom of your screen. Central with the steal. A foul. Howard Nathan picks up the foul. Charles White, who just missed at the free throw line, will go back to the free throw line. Howard Nathan here picking up his fourth personal foul. There it is. Yeah, you can't get away with reaching in from behind like that. Char Mike Kirksey, essential, is bleeding pretty bad from the mouth. I don't know if he cut his lip or he's bleeding awfully bad. He came over to wipe his towel, wipe off the towel. Charles White going to the line, one and one. And he misses. Rams get it. It's still a tie ball game at 58. And there you see the time on the bottom of your screen. Central has not scored since Chris Reynolds called out with three minutes to go. We now have 30 seconds to go. Howard Nathan. Who would you say is going to take the shot? I'd have to say Kenny Sidner. He's their most confident shooter. And the way these guys have been rebounding, they'll look for an offensive rebound possibly. I'm not sure if they'll play it down or if they'll call a timeout. 12 seconds to go in the game. Nathan. Ricky Morgan with five. It's stolen with two seconds. Timeout Central with two seconds to go. It sure looked to me like Mike Hughes fouled Ricky Morgan. That's an awfully tough call to make with less than 10 seconds to go. Two seconds to go. We'll take time out. Well, we'll watch this again. There's the steal. Mike Hughes reached in. He reached all the way across Ricky Morgan. If I had the whistle around my neck, I would have called that one. But it takes a lot of guts with 10 seconds left. Let's go to a break. We'll be back. Ball game. Charles White to throw the inbounds. 58-58. Central Tom. with a desperation heave. We don't get counted. it off. We'll have overtime. And I think it's fitting. Let's take time out. We're going to overtime. The score 58-58. Another fantastic finish. How about it? Meet Mama Bear, Papa Central's Bear. Chris Reynolds is on the bench. He followed out with three minutes to go. Central up by six. Central has not scored since. Howard Nathan looking inside. Tom Wilson goes strong to the hoop for two. Big bucket by Wilson, banks it in, hurting his ex-teammates there. Manuel leads for the first time since the first quarter. Look for Mike Hughes to possibly take over for Central, and he hits the bucket off the baseline, injured player down. I believe it's That's Kenny Sidner. Sidner, right. Once again, it looks like he got poked in the eye, more or less. He's up and playing now. He's not gonna sit down. 2.29 remaining in the 
overtime. Maybe the first overtime. Boy, these guys have played some great games. The seniors here have been playing varsity basketball three and sometimes four years. Central Emanuel in overtime. Howard Nathan with the score tied at 60. Hughes, a big rebound for the Lions. Chuck Bish has been saying that Mike Hughes has played his best three games back to back. He's really been taking over ball games. Central needs that now. Hughes will fire again. Off the iron high. Out of bounds. It'll go back for the Rams. We've played one minute of overtime. There's two minutes to go. It's 60 to 60 now. And we're under two minutes. Central has now gone to a man-to-man -man defense. Kenny Sidnor, they're trying to get him free. Off the iron, rebound, another big one by Mike Hughes. Hughes with a big bucket and a few big rebounds here in the overtime period. Tyrone Howard hit, giving Central a two-point lead. Tyrone Howard's made a number of big plays. None bigger than that one. Central up by two. Mike Grayer hits. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. 62-62. There is the score in overtime. A minute ten to play. Hey, I wouldn't mind a second overtime. Mike Hughes hits again. He's got Kenny, four in the overtime. And Kenny Sidner's down in the backcourt. He's hobbling off the left ankle. He fell down. Kenny Sidner is hurt. Official calls the timeout. Sidnor trying to work off uh, possibly a cramp. He took a hard spill down here. Mike Hughes made the basket. When he turned around, he more or less ran over Kenny Sidner. Sidner does not want to come out of this game. I guarantee that. If you're tuning in now to see anything but love on ABC and Channel 19, it will be picked up in progress after this basketball game. Kenny Sidner will stay in the ball game. We're under 50 seconds. Ricky Morgan in the lane. Morgan fighting for the ball, and it'll go back to Central. Central with a two-point lead. The lead and the ball is so important. Central up by two with the ball. If Manuel's looking to fall, they'll probably look at this guy, Mike Kirksey, the sophomore point guard, just a 54% free throw shooter. There's Kirksey. He has the basketball now. 25 seconds to play. Kirksey doing a little dance. Howard. In the lane. Boy, 15 doing a, seconds. Doing a great job killing some time, and finally the foul. Charles White will go to the free throw line. White missed back-to-back -back one and ones late in regulation. He has a chance to make up for it now. 12 seconds left. There's some controversy whether that's four or five or Ricky Morgan. The official announcer announced four, but now they're trying to check whether that's the fourth or fifth ball on Ricky Morgan. We have him for five here in the broadcast booth. And it appears he's coming out of the game. Lorenzo Hines will replace Ricky Morgan. Tough spot for Lorenzo Hines. He hasn't played the whole game. He comes in with 12 seconds left. His team down by two. Rough calling for the teams to get on the floor. 12 seconds to play. Charles White will be at the line. And boy, if we could get a shot of... Courtney Cezone, he has got blood all over the front of his jersey. He's number 25. Yeah, his lip is bleeding, and he keeps wiping it off of the front of his shirt. The front of his shirt's just drenched with blood. That youngster's played one heck of a ball game. One and one for Charles White. He gets it. 
Mm. This is the big one now. If he makes this one, Central will take a four-point lead. Manuel's going to make him think about it. Central's taking a timeout, and so will we. Back in a minute. Well, I guess we'll stick right here. 12 seconds. Why go away? 65-62 <laughs> Central now. If White makes this free throw, they're up by four. Manuel will need to score twice. Now, if he misses it, Manuel has to set up for a three-point shot. And with their guys, Kenny Sidner and Howard Nathan, they have a lot of options, a lot of possibilities to hit that three. Is that what Dick Van Syak is uh, talking to his team about? We see uh, Chuck Fisher and company there. I'm sure Coach Van is setting up the three-point shot. On the other hand, right here, Chuck Fisher is telling his kids, if White makes it, let's not fall at any cost. We can kind of hear him a little here. That's Chuck Fisher. Hey, let's go! There's the blood on the jersey of Sinzone. Mm. That One, tells you what kind of battle it was here tonight. One tough kid. He hasn't left the court at all. Charles White going to the line. A 66% shooter from the stripe. And he gets them both. Two big free throws. Central calling a timeout. Manuel has to look to get a quick bucket now and get a timeout. There's only 12 seconds left. Manuel needs to score twice. Chuck Fisher just telling the Central Lions, don't fall. It looks like Central might have this one, Paul. Now at this time, do you go to the two-pointer or do you go to the three-pointer knowing you're down by four? I think Manuel will try to punch it inside. Central is not going to fall, so they're also not going to play very good defense. Manuel should be able to get the ball inside, get an easy bucket, and hopefully get a timeout and send Central back to the free throw line. Manuel coach Dick Van Syak making the decisions right there. The Manuel players that will be in the ball game for the final 12 minutes. And there is Chuck Fisher's group. Let's hear if we can hear what he's saying. Central huddle, the happiest guy appeared to be Chris Reynolds. He's got a smile from ear to ear. He thinks his central teammates are going to pull this one out so he can play some more ball. Manuel down four. Chuck Fisher's team in the driver's seat right now. The officials now clarifying exactly how many timeouts each team has. I believe each team has one timeout left. There's the clock with 12 seconds to play. Manual inbounding on the baseline. Token pressure by Central. Tyrone Howard picking up Howard Nathan. There's Howard Nathan. He's going to Hendricks for the jumper. Way short. Central with the rebound. Ahead to Hughes. Watch for the jam. Oh, hard foul. Both players remain down. Both players going in strong. And they are still down. Mike Hughes going up for the dunk. Let's see if we can go back and see what happened. Mike Hughes is okay. Mike Hughes is up. He's okay. Here it is. Mike Hughes. By himself, setting up for the big dunk here. Damon Hendricks whacked. Hughes just got caught right under the backboard. Yeah, that's not dirty ball by Damon Hendricks. He was simply trying to stop the dunk. He caught Mike Hughes in mid-flight. Oh. oh, boy, it was the backboard. It wasn't Damon Hendricks at all. A real good shot there. Mike Hughes actually being hit by the backboard. Chuck Fisher appears to have this one. Damon Hendricks is still down to Manuel underneath the basket. While the central players celebrate, there's a little concern being shown for Damon Hendricks underneath the basket. He is still injured. Central Lions waving to their fans here at Robertson Fieldhouse. Going to be 28 and 0. Heading into a showdown with either Lincoln or Washington. 
Now the clock shows no time left. I don't know if there is any time left. They're running the clock back down now. I still think there's a couple of seconds left. There was two seconds left when they first called the whistle. Go! However, they're running it down now from uh, one minute. Damon Hendricks is up now and walking off the court. Looks like he hurt his back. He's walking off the court fine. That's good news. Looks like Damon Hendricks and Michael Hughes are both okay. Damon Hendricks, he's senior for the Manuel Rams. Well, it looks like Peoria Central, the number two ranked team in the state of Illinois, will go to 28-0 and advance to the sectional finals. Lincoln and Washington play tomorrow night. You talk to Steve Doty at halftime. It's a nice game. Yeah, the Washington kids, you know, across the river, they're 24 and three. They've had a great season themselves. Of course, Lincoln is not going to be an easy game tomorrow, but it looks like the winner of that one will play the state's second-ranked team, the Central Lions. What a game tonight, Central Emanuel. They put six seconds back on the clock. So there's six seconds left. Michael Hughes is going to the free throw line for two free throws. Central's up by four, and Central's going to call a timeout now. Chuck Bishop is simply going to tell those kids, don't fall, it's our ball game. If we don't do anything stupid, we'll be celebrating and playing on Friday. Chuck Fisher, two of the finest gentlemen in high school athletics around the state. Yeah, when you talk Central Manual, everybody always talks about the athletes, but Chuck Fisher and Dick Van Syck, two real classy coaches and two really good coaches. Sure, they have a lot of talent, but boy, it takes a lot of coaching to go 27-0. It looks like Chuck Fisher Central Lions will now go to 28-0. And, and let, let us not forget about the Manual Rams. A very fine season, ranked eighth in the state in AA and 22-6 and six coming in. Not, not much more you can say about Coach Van Syck than his team has gone to the Elite Eight three straight years. That's a monument that will always stand to how great a coach Coach Van Syck is. We're ready to play again. It will be Tyrone Howard going to the free throw line. Apparently there was a fall called away from the Michael Hughes slam dunk, so Hughes was not even fouled. Tyrone Howard was fouled in the back court. And he misses. Up court, here come the Rams. There's a three-pointer, and it doesn't matter. Central has won for the third time over Manuel this season, winning tonight at the opening round of the Peoria sectional, 66 to 65. A three-pointer at the buzzer, but it didn't matter as the Lions are victorious. will advance to the sectional championship game against either Washington or Lincoln. Let's take a break and return to sum things up right after this. Andy, between the Central Lions and the Manual Rams, there are the numbers as Central wins by just one. They'll advance to take on either Washington or Lincoln in the sectional championship game. And Central beats Manuel for the third time this season. Central had every chance to fold in this game when their star player Chris Reynolds called out. But in overtime, they fight back and win it. 66-65. Here we are in the booth. i uh, like to take a look at some of the statistics now. Chris Reynolds... 22 points, uh, a big key for the Central Lions. He fouled out with 22. He led the way. Charles White with 15. And then Mike Hughes with 12. For the Manuel Rams, 15 from Kenny Sidnor. 13 from Mike Grayer. Grayer making a free throw we see right here that rolls in. That tied the ball game, made it interesting, forced overtime. With 11 each, Howard Nathan and Ricky Morgan. But the Rams come up short. As the Central Lions play their fight song in the background, what a great win for Central. It's tough to beat a team three times, but Central does it. They're 28-0. 
Robertson Fieldhouse, the, the site of another dandy between Emmanuel Rams and Central Lions. Central winning, as we mentioned, for the third time this season to advance to the Peoria section. Let's take one more time out and come back here at Robertson Fieldhouse on the campus of Bradley University. They'll take on either Washington or Lincoln. Those two teams will play right here at Robertson Fieldhouse tomorrow. And uh, what a showdown could it be if uh, Washington takes on Central with the two Fishers hooking up like you mentioned on the halftime show. It'd be a big local showdown. Of course, Washington's point guard Eric Fisher, the son of Central coach Chuck Fisher. But, boy, Washington would have their hands full. I wouldn't want to play this Central team. They looked awfully tough tonight. Chris Reynolds fouls out of tonight's game. However, he leads the way for the Central Lions, 22 points, leading the way for the Manuel Rams, Kenny Sidor with 15. That'll about do it here from Robertson Fieldhouse. Once again, the final score, the Central Lions, 66, the Manuel Rams, 65. We'd like to thank all our crew here at Robertson Fieldhouse, our director, Ricker, the Ricker Jarvis, yeah, in the truck and Jim Matson here calling the color commentary. Once again, the final score, Central 66, Manual 65. Paul Sikovic saying so long from Robertson Fieldhouse.